Hello again. It's great to be able to come and share with you once again from God's Word during these morning devotionals. It's uh, been such an encouragement to look at Bible verses that are there to encourage us as believers as we walk with him in these particular days. I'm sure that we're all aware of various parts of the world that are prone to earthquakes. Uh, with some parts of the, the world, it's almost, I don't know whether it's a, a daily occurrence, but certainly a very regular occurrence. And people get rather blasé about it. And it's just matter of fact, it's one of those things that happens. Oh, it's another earthquake. <laughs> um, and they're often very minor uh, quakes uh, that just shake, rattle the cups a bit and, uh, uh, and this sort of thing. But on the other hand, we, we look at uh, uh, occasionally, very occasionally, we'll have a big thing on the BBC, on the news that says that there's been an earthquake uh, uh, somewhere in, uh, in the UK. And it's a big thing. And the cameras are there and, the, uh, uh, and people will describe what it was like. And they were quite fearful. And this is the sort of thing. It's, it really depends on how we're used to these things. As how we take them. We can be rather blasé about them. Or we can make a big thing about them. The thing is, we're living in days where we are shaken. The, the whole area of the coronavirus, it's shaken what is, was you, our norm. And we find that things are, are, are very, very different. Well, I've got a Bible verse for us today. And it's in Acts chapter 4 and it's verse 31. And we read these words. When they had prayed, that's the disciples, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. There was a shaking. You know, we, we can get either fearful or blasé about the shakings in nature with the earthquakes. But the Bible re has a number of records of times when God shook the world or God shook specific places. And here today we read that after the disciples had spent time in prayer, the place, the actual physical place where they were in, was shaken. And as a consequence of this, it seems, because when we read the sequence of events, the consequence of this was uh, after they were shaken, or after the building was shaken, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. I don't want to make too much of a, a formula of this. But I think sometimes God wants to shake us, his people. There have been encounters in my life when I felt that God has shaken me. And usually the, they've, uh, pres this shaking in my experience has preceded something that God wanted me to do specifically. And I think that that's the way in which we to, to be encouraged by this verse today. As a nation, as a church, as believers, as Christian men and women, we are being shaken today. 
and I believe that God wants to us to perhaps take hold of this verse and say, "Yes, Lord, you've you're shaking, shaking us, you're shaking us as a church, you're shaking us as individual believers, because you in these days you want to pour out your spirit, and and what was the consequence of that? Well, these believers." left this shaken building and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. Perhaps that's where the way God wants to use us today. Shake us, fill us, use us. We remember it started with prayer and they prayed. The place in which they were gathered together was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. Let's pray. Lord, shake your people. Shake me. And use me, Lord. Use us, Lord, to be your people that with boldness, having been filled with the Holy Spirit, we may speak your word to our communities, to our generation. Use these times where we've been shaken in a worldly sense. Use them in a spiritual sense too, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us again. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.